Hi guys, we're here with Byron Hess after the first ever acoustic gig in Carl Vintage. So, where did you get the name for the band? Oh, um, I'm not answering that. <laughs> Byron's my middle name. Yeah. So Ben took that and put it with the word hair. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what happened. To it, so. Yeah, I couldn't really like, I couldn't sort of, once the word hair came out of Byron, I couldn't really like get past that. So it was like, it's just gonna have to happen. <laughs> um, where was your first gig? At Sunflower Lounge. Well, our first proper gig yeah, was at Sunflower Lounge, Lounge, but our first ever gig, kind of, us three, was at Death of Glory Records in Medich. Um, yeah. First thing, yeah, the first thing we did, we played um, some art show. Was <laughs> um, where was the biggest gig you've ever played then? The biggest, probably um, the biggest in terms of like a like commercial selling point would probably be Lake Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's probably the biggest to date. But like the, the best, the best gigs we've played have been with Sunflower so far. But I think that's just because it's a cool venue. Man. I thought Morton was quite good as well. Yeah, Morton in Redditch was really good. Like, yeah. That was uh, the best. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, where would be the ultimate gig for you to have? Glastonbury. Glass, yeah, Glastonbury. Glastonbury. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be Glastonbury. Main stage, main stage. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a... That's not a gig. Yeah, I suppose it's a show this. It's a real one. Yeah. Um, why from music? What is your favourite food? I like pizza, but I can't eat it anymore because it gives me the uh, poos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love pizza, man. Um, but that's yeah, that's, that's off the cards. But I have to be very tactical with my uh, my pizza consumption. <laughs> then make some nice carbonara. Is that your favourite food? I like it. I a, we, we make a lot I of nice food. <laughs> My mom's doesn't. So, and I'm at uni, that's all I crave. <laughs> so freeze it. Yeah. Freeze it. I'm going to need a ton of it. I feel the carbon in the tank. Um, what was the first record that you ever bought? Mine was, uh, I think it's Cecilia. Is it Cecilia? You know, you know, oh, Cecilia. Yeah. But sucks. I got it on tape. That was the first thing I bought. And then it was the Spice Girls on tape. My, my first CD was, uh, what's his name? The one who did, uh, he put on the mass and he did the Craig David thing. What was his name? Bo Selector. Bo Selector. It was Bo Selector with uh, Davina McCall. And it was a single they wrote together. <laughs> Uh, no, they didn't write it. It was a cover of um, I've Got You, Babe. Oh, <laughs> and I, I went into oh, I remember that. and I bought it on like, the little single CDs. Oh, and things. That's what I remember. It's a pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> See, that's quite cool. Mine <laughs> <laughs> no, was embarrassing. Mine was Limp Biscuit, the chocolate covered starfish. Oh, I stole that fucking thing. It was a good album. Yeah, it, it was. was a good album. I was showing it to my chocolate grandma. Chocolate starfish. Time. My first, my first final was uh, My Bloody Valentine. Oh, yeah. Nice. You don't like My Bloody <laughs> no. Valentine? In fact, my first CD album, album was um, Good Charlotte, Young and Hopeless. <laughs> We're going to get off forever. Yeah, but well, my first, yeah. my first. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first time. <laughs> um, who are then your all time favourite band? Um, I'm going to say Bowie, just collectively. Yeah. Like, Bowie's got to be up there. MGMT, I'm. Yeah. Massively into doors. There's so many people. I've got I've got a very grunge background, so I'll probably say Nirvana or Cold Jam. Or yeah, yeah. I, I, I love I love the Velvet Underground as well. I love the Velvet Underground. I love the Most of the music. Yeah. Question for Ben. Come on, I'm to get the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make sure it's done. Will you marry me? <laughs> You know, listen to this noise and you got to answer, I will say what it is right. Alright. Alright, so. Is it I? Yeah. You stepped on a piece of Lego, make the noise you make in the bedroom, or is it C, you in the, uh, in the album sleeping on fire needles? Is there an option for all of you above? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Let go in the bedroom. Let go in the bedroom. While we're recording. No, uh, so that, that, that would be needles, I think. Needles. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not wrong. Ah, lovely. Should we speak about that right now? Yeah, we can speak. This is, I haven't held one of these in a long time. <laughs> I've, I've held That's one. Wow. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can, we can speak about this. Just want to present it. Yeah, you can. Um, <laughs> how did the album get its name? Right, we had a, uh, a song, it's the first thing that we wrote, three of us wrote, when we were just a three piece. Um, and the chorus was, we can sleep on the fire, but only when it's burning our feet. And that was a song called Serendipity. Um, and then we wrote another song with the lyrics, sleep on the fire in it, but at the time we called Serendipity Part 2. Uh, which is now New Line. Which is now the last track on the EP. And it's got a new name, and it just—I don't know—it just kind of felt like it's been in, in so many of the like the old lyrics. But it should really be a, it should really be something that's like it's exploited a bit on this. At least to have physical form. So it's like, ah, I remember that song. Yeah, it sounds nice. Yeah. What is your favourite song on the album? Like to perform? Or to perform? To listen to which one? Do you um, <laughs> For me, for me, Met Metaphorical's probably up there because oh. that was the first like radio one play, so it was, that's always going to have a nice place. Yeah. I like feeling blue. I like playing feeling blue. Yeah. It's got that build up. I get to shout. And I get to shout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you feeling blue when you wrote the song Feeling Blue? Were we? Carrie's house. Yeah, we probably were actually. <laughs> we were at. Uh, yeah, the little dog, Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. I was doing fries in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. I remember it well. Uh, we wrote that song like two, two, three years ago. Yeah, they must have been pushing that. Now. It was a long time ago. Um, so I can't really remember, but I don't think so. Um, do you remember what inspired you for metaphorical, political, and needles? Um, with metaphorical, it was. We just kind of, me and Greg had this afternoon where we um, made loads of milkshake and smoked all the cigarettes. And uh, we, we were really like just getting into, like, not just getting into, but we've always been like a fan of Russell Brand and what he has to say about everything. Yeah, it was just as he was, yeah, it was just as he was sort of starting that phase, I guess. And it was like, yeah, this guy, this guy understands. And it was some of the lyrics he cherry picked from his interview with, was it Jeremy Paxton? Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Right. <laughs> Yeah. So, and then with Needles, it was a, uh, it's actually kind of about domestic abuse. domestic abuse, yeah, but it's kind of like these these dudes that beat women because that's all that they think they can do, and it's a bit like, you're just a bit of a dick, aren't you? So that's, that's where that comes from. That's just sort of we thought out in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to take away from you now. Okay, <laughs> um, 1968, what is yeah. the album about? Well, we had... Nostalgia. Yeah. Songs. We had, like, these three songs that we really liked playing live, but they didn't really have a place on the record because it's they're so different. Yeah. And we were like, they just sound like they're from... They're, they're old. They're from another band, like, that were around back then. And we were like, I wonder what sort of music we'd have been writing back then. And we were like, actually, it's... Probably a bit like this, so let's just put them on a CD and see if people like it. Yeah. Um, you speak about you know, like you uh, listen to 1960s music and how that's what you yeah. produce. Then, if you could see one band or artist from the 60s, who would it be and why? Oh man, it'd have to be the Beatles. Really. Yeah. Or would it be Hendrix? Or Hendrix. 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 From, I know it was 60s. late 60s, late 60s, uh, early 70s. You're on the 70s, 80s. Yeah. yeah, I suppose if you'd have seen Queen in the 60s, it would have been really like, yeah. what is this? So many, isn't there? Yeah. 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 Just would have been good to be there and see more. Yeah. The Who in like, late the who 60s. Oh, yeah. mm. the oh, Stones. Oh, yeah. Of Back in the day. Like, yeah. when they're not, they don't look like puppets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of them. Let's talk about 1960s bands. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your favourite TV show? Just talk about living in the house. Um, yeah, yeah, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones at the moment. Yeah, Game of Thrones. We go through like phases, watch a different series. Like, like, like Walking Dead. I haven't seen it. 
in there. No, I haven't yet. Maybe that's Ben's a new a bit wimp. Don't get scared. Get scared. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we try to um, So, who is the best dancer? Uh, I'd say Greg. I like Kyle. I think it's we are. Like <laughs> it's really good shape. We are on the streets of Dignam, so I don't know that long. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you see the band in four years? Still together, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> God knows right. Can you be like a group of 20 by then? 20? <laughs> no, I think we, we, we could have an orchestra by then. Yeah, yeah. if that'd we could have one of them, that would be good. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, special thanks to Byron Hair for letting us interview them. Link to the description with their music and where you can find them. Remember to like and subscribe for more interviews. Thank you.